this, I'm good on your heat boot camps Trying to reach the whole hood, snapbacks and food snaps But some folks will never get a grip, blues clamps Second boxing matches never ending, crowning two champs Oh, what a tangle web they weave Cause ever since birth, we done been deceived Negroes are feminine, sweet sixteens Wearing skinny jeans, can't be this naive yeah. So they're gonna have us buzz hell wide open. Got it. You got it. Up. Isaiah 47. Uh, go, go, do Army 3239. 32, 32, Real quick, huh? I know you got some other people. But you, but you, you got some other people. You good? Okay, I'll pray. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, starting at verse 39. See now that I, even I, am He. And there is no God with me. There's nobody else to save you. Go ahead. I kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did that just say? I kill. I kill. I kill. God kills. Go ahead. And I make alive. And I make alive. Go ahead. I wound. He wounds. And I heal. And he heals. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So once God puts his hands on you, your mama can't help you, your preacher can't help you, Martin Luther King can't help you, Obama can't help you, Trump can't help you. Who they got in there now? I don't know who they got. Who, who in there now? Biden, Biden, he can't help you. He can't help you. He can't help you. So God says he killed. Give me Amos 3 and 6. We're going to run out of Biden. Because, again, the churches are doing our people a disservice. They're not telling our people who they are. What's your nationality? Again, what's your nationality? Black. Look at your shirt. That's black. Look at your skin. What color is that? Brown. But you just told me you was black. Yeah. But what? That's a problem. Read that up. The book of Amos, chapter three, starting at verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. So the book says, shall a trumpet, y'all hear this trumpet, it's warning. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. Ain't nobody out here scared. They don't have no fear of God. They don't have no fear of God, none. Go ahead. Shall there be evil in a city. Shall it be evil in the city, watch this. And the Lord have not done it. And the Lord have not done it. Shall there be evil in the city and God had not done it? He did it. We see all the people get shut up at that grocery store a couple weeks ago. Who did that? God did it. We see a police come out, slam one of these stiff necked Negroes on their head. God. Who did that? God did that. Oh, the white man keep messing with us. No, you being ignorant and you being and you being stiff necked. So God used them as his whipping stick. That's who did it. That's who did it. So I'm going to ask you again. Give me uh, Isaiah 1 and 3. So what's your, what, now you know this book has 18 nations in it. And God only loves one, right? Israel. Are you Israel? Why not? Who told you that? I, I ain't from there. Okay. If a Chinese man born in America, and I, and I ask him, what's his nationality? What are you going to say? Chinese, right? Yeah. But I'm not born there. No. That's what you just said. Same thing. So you uh, remember Paul was not a Roman. He was a citizen of Rome. And he'll tell you in the book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 1, I am Paul of the tribe of Benjamin, the Israelite. All right, go ahead. Read that. Isaiah 1 and 3. The book of Isaiah chapter 1, starting at verse 3. I'm going to give you one more idea. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox knows his owner. Yeah. And the ass, his master's crib. And the ass, what's the ass? The donkey, right? Yeah. So God comparing our people. Give me Jeremiah 42, 22. So God comparing our people to a stubborn mule and a dumbass ox, right? He said, but that ox knows where he's from. That ass knows who his owner is. But my people, my people. We African American. That don't make no damn sense. That's two white men named Scipio Africanus and the Marigolds Vaspucci, a ma an Italian map maker and a navigator, and no, and a, uh, a, a map maker and a Roman general. You come from the loins of two white men, so how are you African American? 
And then if you African, Africa is a continent with 54 different countries. Which one are you from? Read that up. But you just say you African. Read that. Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3. Yeah, Isaiah 1 and 3. African That don't make no sense. The <laughs> two places. The book of Isaiah chapter 1, starting at verse 3. The uh -huh. ox knoweth his owner, and uh -huh. the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. God said, y'all don't know, you don't even consider. You don't care. The so-called white man called you African American in 1988 when Jesse Jackson ran for president. Who was you before that? Who are you before 1984? Because there was no such thing as African American. You was black. You was colored. Why your nationality change every 20 years? Back in the day, we was coons, porch monkeys, spits, wet bikes, Negroes, coloreds. How come we the only people on earth our nationality change every so often? Why? Oh, they wanted to be slaves. You is a slave, and you deserve it. You deserve to be a slave. Because you don't even care who you is or what you is, you don't get no book and read. So God said, you some slaves. That's what the book said. Give me that, Baruch 3 and 8. I'm not just talking. And I'm going to say this last one, I'm going to let you go. And let you punt. I gave you a fire. All right, go ahead. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, starting at verse 1. Now, when I say you, sla you a slave, I wasn't saying that to be rude. I'm giving you God's word. And the Bible says, cry aloud. Spare not. We ain't spare no feelings. Go ahead. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, starting at verse 1. Oh, verse 3 and 8. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, starting at verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Captivity. What is captivity? Slavery. Where we at right now? So God says, behold, regardless of what Abraham Lincoln said, he, he, he freed the slave with the Declaration, the proclamation, whatever that crap was. God, how, how he gonna free you when he ain't put you in this? Yeah. God put you in this. Yeah. So it says, ye are yet this day in your captivity, even to this day, 2022, go ahead. Where thou has scattered us. Well, God scattered us, not the so-called white man. God put you over here, go ahead. For a reproach. For a reproach. And a curse. And a curse. Curse. Romans 9, 11, there you go. We cursed. Well, we cursed because we didn't keep, we didn't hold up our end of the, of the covenant, of the, of the agreement with God. He said, if you keep my laws, you'll be above all people, black man. You are above all, all people. You a king, black man. You ever been told that? You've been told, you, I bet you say you've never, been called, you've never been told you a king, but I bet you've been called a nigga, right? Thank you. Go ahead. The book of Romans chapter 9, starting at verse 11. Uh -huh. For the children being not yet born... I mean, it's like it. Daniel's 9 11. It's like it. 9 11. It's like it. Daniel's 9 11. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, starting at verse 11. Mm -hmm. Yea, all Israel have transgressed. We've all sinned. Before Dialogue. I came, before I found out who I was, I'm not trying to come out here like I'm up on the pedestal above anybody out here because I used to be out here doing dirt too. Right? I used to be so we're no we're not putting ourselves as uh, as greater than thou or without reproach. And still to this day we got things that we working on, right? Uh, but if I see you and I see something in you that's not right, I'm supposed to say it to you. And if you see me and you see something in me not right, you're supposed to check me. So we can check each other. Each one teach one, iron sharp as iron. Go ahead, up. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, uh -huh. even by departing. Even by departing, we left his law, you bought whatever that was today, go ahead. That they might not obey thy voice. Uh -huh. Keep going. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. And the oath that God made to us in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. If you don't keep my laws, I'm going to put your butts on these slave ships and you're going to be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. God kept his end of the deal. He is not a man that he should lie. He is not a man that he should lie. He kept his end of the bargain. Now we up here on 22nd trying to make some money on the Sabbath day. Come on. Trying to make some money on God's Sabbath day. That's right. You take care. All right. Thank you, man. You get that good. word. Hey, we got, uh, we got some scripture on here for you. Oh, praise to the 
most high God, no problem, huh? All praises to the most high. But that's what it's about. That's what it's about, bringing his word out to his people, one by one. Uh, give me Luke 15, I think it's 15, 22. Give me Luke 15, 22. If I'm not mistaken. Luke 15, 22. 15, yeah. That's uh, what the father said to his servants. Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand. Oh, Luke 22, 15. 22, 15. I'm sorry, Luke 15, 15, 10. 15, 10? Yeah, Luke 15, 10. All praises. It don't have to be, we don't have to be like a mega church out here with, with a tent full of people. Read that, Luke 15, 10. The book of Luke chapter 15, starting at verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. So all it takes is one, one sinner to repent. Because we know that everybody is not gonna come to repentance. We know that everybody is more concerned about how they will be looked at by their peers. Nobody wants to stand on the corner with a Bible in their hand because I guess it's not cool. But the cool thing is for a woman to be around here wearing pants. The cool thing is for a woman to be, woman to be a whore. That's the cool right. thing is for a man to be a whoremonger. The cool thing is to walk around here smoking a blunt and destroying your blunt, your brain cells. Give me that first, uh, first Corinthians 3.16. I guess that's the cool thing. The cool thing is for a man to be walking around here in some tight ass pants. That's the cool thing. Right. That's what's cool. And if that's cool, I don't want to be cool. Bring it out. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, starting at verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, which means that you don't belong to you. You belong to the Father in heaven. He made you from the dirt, and that's where you're going to return, right back to the dirt. That's where you're going when all this, when all this coolness is over with. When all this designer clothes is over with, you're going right back to the dirt. Go ahead, up. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And that God wants to dwell in you. But if you filthy, Woo. God cannot dwell in your temple. That's right. God cannot dwell in your temple full of alcohol, full of drugs, full of marijuana. I remember when I was in the world, I used to ask my brothers, man, why y'all pop pills? They say, because it makes you feel like you a star. That comes from a, the mind of a, a, a low self-esteem person. I've never had that spirit on me. I always felt like I was a star because I always knew I was special. But I just didn't know what made me special. And what made me special is the most High God chose us. We are gods. We are God's chosen people. I don't need artificial, uh, something that's artificial to make me feel good about myself. I don't need no marijuana to make me be able to think and make me feel good. I got the spirit of the most high God in me. Go ahead. Keep going. That's right. 17. Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So the Bible says if any man defiles the temple of God, that goes to show you that you don't belong to you. Let's get a, a basic law. Give me Leviticus 19, 27, I think it is. Tattoos. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, starting at verse 22. And the priest shall make an atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering. Before the Lord for his sin which he hath done, and the sin which he hath done shall be forgiven him. Verse 23, and when ye shall come into the land and shall have planted all manner of trees. Oh, yeah. It's like oh. it. You in back, man? Salakia. Salakia. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, starting at verse 28. Now we're gonna give you some basic laws. Because people say that God laws are grievous. God laws are hard. It's not hard for a man not to wear a damn dress like a faggot. God don't believe in that LGBTQ XYZ. That's right. 
God says two men lying together, that's an abomination, which is something that God hates. God created us to procreate, not to be damn flaming faggots. Go ahead, read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, starting at verse 26. Uh -huh. Ye shall not, so like it, 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. No tattoos. No R.I.P. tattoos on you. No tattoos, period. That's like if I had a rental Woo. and I paid that car, put a damn wrap on it and take it back to the car rental place, they're going to charge me. They're going to look at me like I'm crazy. That's how God feels. You don't belong to you. Keep going up. Nor print any marks upon you. Or print. So that means that's definitely letting you know that you don't belong to you. Go ahead. I am the Lord. 29. Do not prostitute thyself. Salakia. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Stop right there. So the Bible says, do not prostitute thy daughter. Now, how can you prostitute your daughter? By not keep teaching her, thus saith the Most High God. By letting her walk outside with these little old shorts, uh, uh, makeup, hair, Short, skimpy skirts. That's prostituting my daughter. Read that again, huh? The book of Leviticus chapter 19, starting at verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Scripture says, do not prostitute thy daughter. To cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a whore. And the problem that we have in today, too many of these parents trying to be their kids' friends. Too many of these parents trying to get their children approval. Too many of these kids, I mean, too many of these parents today not teaching their kids, thus saith the Most High. That's what the Most High God says. Do not prostitute thy daughter to be a whore. Keep going up. Lest the land fall to whoredom. Lest the land fall to whoredom. And when the land falls to whoredom, you have 13, 14, 15 year olds having babies. You have HIV spread it rampant. You have, uh, what was that, uh, abort the abortion rate in the black community is astro astronomical. How come we not protesting in front of these abortion clinics, Black Lives Matter? Because a black woman is aborting over 400,000 babies a year. How come we ain't protesting in front, of, in front of these abortion clinics? That's right. If Black Lives Matter. So that's why God said do not cause your daughter to be a prostitute to cause the land to fall into whoredom because all these things, unwed mothers, unwanted children, right. diseases, spreading, and then you killing the damn babies and that even made it to the world. That's why a parent has to be a parent and not their damn child's friend. Because a child gonna ask, can they eat candy every day, all day? A parent gotta have enough wisdom in their mind to know if I let this damn child eat candy every day, because that's what the child gonna wanna do, damn teeth gonna fall out and stomach gonna be hurting. Do not cause thy daughter to be a whore. And that's rampant in our, in our society, in our neighborhoods. If I walk down the street and I see somebody in a police officer, I'm gonna assume he's a police. And I mean, if I see a man in a police officer uniform, I'm gonna assume he's a police officer. So if I come through the hood and I see a woman in a short, skippy skirt, short, short tights, showing all of her body, I'm going to assume, I'm not saying she is, but she has on the attire of a whore. That's what the book says. The attire of a whore. That's what the book says. That's right. Give me first Peter's four, um, you know, give me first Thessalonians chapter four and verse eight. Again, Isaiah 581 says, cry aloud. Spare not, show my people their transgressions and the house of Israel their sins. Because if nobody ever came out here and told you, you don't know. Ready. And now you know. Go ahead. Huh? The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 starting in verse 8. Bring it out. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man. So anybody who hear these scriptures that we're reading, we're giving you book, chapter, verse. Go ahead. Despise is not man, but God. So you despise God. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a mouthpiece right now. That's all we is right now. Shalom, my sister. How you doing? You mean, hey, let me give you a flight. 
Let me give you a fight. You know you want to go get this ball pass. Now, I think we were just talking about you. What's your name? No, y'all What's your name? What's your name? How old you is, Nate? You 20. You married. Now, let me ask you something. Are you, do you want to be married one day and have kids and all that though? Why is this world corrupt? Why is this world corrupt? Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. What's your nationality? Yeah. You know? I'm Israel, Israelite. That's that's not nationality, that's religion. You you're a Christian, so you're gonna be in church tomorrow morning. And no, no, I'm just saying, okay, okay, what, okay, explain to me, what is a Christian then? Do have you, do you got a job? Yeah. Do you have a, a, ever applied for a job? Yeah. When you went on, on your application to ask your nationality, nationality, you black, look at your pants. What color that is? Black. Look at your skin. So how you black? My race is black. How old? Okay, if you're racist, okay, if I say, if a white dude came up here and I'm asking his nationality, he tell me Italian, right? He can show me on the map Italy. So you say you black, show me on the map the country called black. What is that? If you go to Tampa International Airport right now and say, give me a ticket to the country called black, where you going? You ain't going nowhere. They gonna say, hey, uh, till you find out, you gonna be right here. You do. Go ahead. Huh? I'm gonna give you nationality. You believe in the God, right? You believe in God. You believe in this book. Yeah. Have you ever read African American in that book? Have you ever read, read black in that book? Have you ever read white man in that book? Chinese man, Arab man. So wouldn't it behoove you to know who you was? You love God. Yeah. You love God. Give me that. First John five and three. How do, how do you show God that you love Him? The way you're looking right now, that shows you love God. How you do that? How you worship him? And what you say to him? And that's a personal question. That's a personal question. I ain't gonna ask you that. Mm -hmm. So you repent. And what do you tell you? Yeah, you do. What God this is? Ow! What God this is? I don't know. He listening. So do you keep the laws? Do you keep the laws? No, say no. Do you keep God's laws? John 9, 31. Do you keep God's laws? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. No, but you have to be honest with yourself. Like if you go to the doctor, right? And the doctor asks you, what are your symptoms? Because you want this thing cured, whatever your illness is. If you don't tell him your symptoms, he cannot cure you. So you have to be honest. Well, I love God. I know he loves you. You do? Yeah. Okay. I went You sure? The book of John, chapter right. 9, starting at verse 31. Uh -huh. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So you say you talking to God and he talk by it to you. That scripture just said God hears not sinners. A sinner is somebody who's not keeping his laws. So if something's talking right to you, I wouldn't be listening to it. Because that scripture said God ain't hearing you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, read that again. Read that again. The book of John, chapter 9, starting at verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Sometimes. Not sinners. He ain't listening to you. He ain't listening to you. He ain't telling you. Well, this is what he's telling you. So you know what he did? He guided your steps right past us today. That's what he did. Your goings are of God's. It's not a coincidence that you came out here today and we was out here giving you this, giving this word. Now it's up to you. You got the key. Now it is up to you. You got you too. Pull out your phone real quick. Alright, well, on here right here.
got a building you can go to. It's over. You know where Progress Village is? It's over there. It's called Liberty. 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 Nation of Israel. Because you sister, you an Israelite. What, what is your dad? What's your dad's nationality? He black, so-called black. Huh. So then you would more likely be from the tribe of Judah, uh, Israelite. God's chosen people. God does not love, you think God love everybody? No. Who you don't love? Who is that? You mean the devil? That would just mean deceiver. The devil. Yeah, he just that just means deceiver. We looking for a man with a pitchfork walking around. He downstairs. No, he all around you right now. I know, I feel like he's walking right next to me. No, God, no, God got that heat on you. God, he ain't gonna turn it up some more. Pressure. He gonna turn it up. The Bible says the day, will, the day will come where it shall burn like an oven. You think this something? You think this heat right here something? Oh, uh, wait till he come back. Go ahead. Y'all wanna be here? Yeah. Cause those who are in Christ, they, they gonna be protected. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Give me that Romans eight and one. What? What? You gonna see? It. Oh, as a matter of fact, give me that. Give me that. Isaiah sixty six last verse. Guess what? If you make it to the kingdom, guess what you are gonna see every Sabbath? If you make it to the kingdom. Heavy gate. No. Oh, that's after that. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, starting at verse 24. Uh -huh. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. So when we get to the king, if we make it to the kingdom, all the people that transgress every Sabbath day, which would be today, and new moons, we're gonna go down to the fire pit, we're gonna see all the people who transgress God burning. That's, that's gonna be a field trip every week. It's in the book, we just read that. Yeah, yeah. So, you wanna see that? You wanna see the kingdom? So what must you do? Give me that. Christ said, uh, the young man asked Christ, what uh, Matthew 22. So that means you want to keep these laws, right? Now, you gonna get no tax I know you heard that. Before. Yeah, I know it's not good, but no yeah, yeah. Like, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like, see, all my tattoos, they just give me something like it's something that I love and that I cherish. What does God say you did? I know. So you gonna. So why would so why would I do something? He right. created everything. You got it. Matthew uh, 1916. Yeah. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So if you want to make it to the kingdom, you have to keep God's commandments. So that's how you going to see the people burn. You say you want to kill, right? Keep the commandments. Now, do not return too far. What do I mean? 22. 22 and 5. Oh, 22. 22. And five. Chapter 22, verse 5. Mm -hmm. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord your God. So stop right there. Now I'm really on the fight of you for what you're doing right now, but do you know what you have on is it really does. undergarments? Undergarments. Yeah, the So, what you do? You gotta tell you what you're wearing. And why is that? Because God hates you. And you should feel uncomfortable. Because guess what? We walk up to this stone. Saw these dudes up here. What you think you're looking at? You're looking at this or you're looking at that? We're looking down here, but. Huh? But you run track today. I don't see no track around here. You don't look like track shoes to me. <laughs> but you ain't running track though. You, and it, look, it look like you ran up to this, this scroll alley. 
So what I'm saying is, this so what I'm saying. So you, so if you do meet a man, you say, well, you say you don't want to, but one day you, you'll change because you're 20. I want to get married and have some kids. So you want a man, you want a man looking at this. You want him looking down there. You want him to see this first, right? Your mind first, because if he sees something else first, that's what he's going to. Damn, you know? oh, yeah. she got it out there. She must, she got, that's bait out there. If you put cheese out there, rat gonna come, right? Come exactly. Hmm. I'm just saying if I was a rat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Oh. All right. So you travel uh, from the nation of Israel from the tribe of Judah. Wait, they should, I, I need to put that down. That's right on that, that flight. Oh, oh, yeah. You got everything on there. Yeah, yeah you taking on notes too. Put, put that so in your hand. What? Yeah, 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 I see that. I see that. All crazy. You from the nation of Israel, and they call you Israelites. That's what we call it. Say the last part you said again. Israel. Basically Israel. A-I-E-L-I-E-L. Oh, I'll have you right now. What you think about that? The word that you received. No, I didn't know. I don't know. Well, I was saying I don't know about this, but... I If Satan was here right now, the devil, you gonna think you're gonna punch him or you're gonna punch him? You gonna fight or you gonna think about it? But you said you're a fighter. Not, I was. I'm not a fighter anymore ever since last Monday. <laughs> last Monday? No, for real. Yeah, for real. Oh. Who you fighting? Anybody that? Your brothers and sisters? Yeah. Those who come up against you, try it. Anybody that's right. Anybody that's right. Anybody that's right. supposed to be fighting our brothers and sisters. Right. We're not supposed to. And that, now to get you messed up in this Bible too. The most high, when he's fighting one another, killing one another, right? Something bad happened to us. Like he knock you off. Right? He'll deal with us in grace and mercy for a time. Right? That's just like your dad telling me I told you not to put your hand on my shoulder. And that's the first like And you keep saying you're doing it, eventually he'll pop your hand at the stove. Right? That's natural, right? So in the same way, he did not have to do it. He ain't not get all bad. You continue to make that progress. So continue to do that. But there's more higher than you. Uh, Acts 319. Acts 319? I gotta get my grandma her cigarette. I'm in. Sorry, I'm thinking to come to this store to come to this store. I'm in a DC. The book of Acts, chapter 3, starting verse 19. Repent ye therefore. That word repent means pops. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I've been messing up for a long time, but come on. I'm sorry. I'm genuine this time. 
Repent ye therefore and be converted. Yeah, yeah. Now you good. Come on, sis. I'm going to repeat, I'm going to run that back one more again. Acts 3. This is in the Bible that you, most of the, everybody people read the Bible. Acts 3, 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That word converted means to change. Change from this to that. Don't go back. Change. Right? That your sins may be blotted out. You have an opportunity to correct that and be blotted out because all of this is being recorded. All of this being recorded for the day of judgment. And y'all, and, and that what they say? In the end days, you're gonna run it back, open up the books, right? He's gonna record review you. Every man gonna be judged for his works. Every woman. Every word you say, every other word that comes out of your mouth is well. It's gonna be judged. Do you wanna be ready though? Do you wanna be a fighter? Because devil ain't gonna give you up so easy. Oh, yeah. He gonna deceive. He gonna send people around you to lead you astray. He going to put that person or that dude or that person in your life that's going to investigate, that's going to instigate, that's going to push you just a little bit because you know that's all she need to go one to a hundred. Mm. That still happened to me because I got a tip. Uh, temper. Come on. Temper. Like, uh, give me that uh, Galatians 5 to tell me you go Temper. We got to be able to, because the enemy, the enemy he, he said he's the prince of the power of the air, which means he's all around. He's not always attacking you, but he's studying you to see your weaknesses. And what's going to make it for you to just go off on somebody? That, that, that situation is going to be presented to you. Go ahead. Galatians 5, but the fruit of the spirit is love. So we got the spirit of God. You got love, right? Yeah. Joy, joy, peace, peace, long suffering, long suffering, gentleness, gentleness, goodness, goodness, faith, faith, meekness, mm -hmm. temperance, temperance. Temperance. Temper. Control you your temper. Control your temper. That's why I need help on That's what we I need some help on that. Right? We all need some help on that. We all need some help. But there are two commandments that are the greatest of them all. Do you know what they are? Right. Love the Lord, your God, with all your heart and your mind. And the second one is like that one. Love your neighbor, your sister, the one that's an Israelite, the one that looks like you, that's your people. Not fight them, not kill them, not hurt them, not harm them, right? You don't want to be that person that forms that weapon against your own sister with your fist. Nobody, God I fight your battles. No, 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 we ain't ready yet. We ain't ready for that part yet. Uh, no. That's for God fight your. Oh, man, give me uh, Exodus 13, 14. Exodus 13, 14? Yeah, Exodus 13. Exodus 13, 14. And it shall be when thy son asketh thee. Oh, 13, 13. 13, 13, Salaki. And every firstling of an ass. Exodus. 14, 13, 14, 14 13. 13. You don't even Dyslexic. remember. Hey, I got a lot of scriptures in my head. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, 14, 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, stand still. and see the salvation of the Lord, mm -hmm. which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. So the Egyptians were our enemies. So God said, stand still. You don't have to go fight these other nations. You stand still, and you and, he, and we're going to watch God take down our enemies. We ain't going to have to do nothing. He fights as long as you, Now, as long as you're doing what he tells you to do, keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. Stand still, which means you say, we get to go fight those nations. We ain't got to do that. God going to do it for us. Well, hold on, hold on. People get that misconstrued. To your people. To your people. To your people. That this book right here. No, I'm trying. Now we ain't nobody harm us now. Yeah. Yeah, be the bigger. It, it, it's, it's hard. It's hard that somebody come up and get long as they don't put their hands on. Oh yeah, got to pay yourself. Yeah, let them do that. They ain't gonna hurt you. 
Any right? Work? But on top of that, here's another wise thing. Birds of a feather flock Not together. Together. If you are around them long enough, even if you don't say time, say nothing. Sometimes Satan reach out and grab you. <laughs> Psalms one and one. Psalms one and one. Psalms one and one. one, and one. The book of Psalms, chapter 1 and 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. If I hang around a whole bunch of people smoking weed all the time, what's going to One of them. If I hang around a bunch of hormones all the time, what's going to happen? The hormones. They got them around. Might as well knock them down. You know what I'm saying? So that's why God said, blessed is the man that is not in the counsel of the ungodly. You're supposed to be surrounded by like minded God. Who told you? He said he'd be around. A lot of people. Uh, hey, come here, bro. Come here. Let, let's talk to you for a second, bro. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. The low is tainted in the first place. The first place. Rumors of race wars in the first day. No debate that time passing like the third lane. Harpo shot the sky, but the blood's in the earthquake. Drop the heavy bass line to multiply the emphasis. Watch it tell evangelists to feel good messages. Jewish throw the land, while the fires is red. Asian sellers hair and nails. Arab sold the swishers. Chinese sellers liquor. The white man of victors. We strikes and then you out another fella, another picture. Got the nerve to ask why the rich is getting rich. Controlling the whole country like a winer on a bitch. 